Hi everyone, I've got another viewer's success story and this is like a combined one, multiple things. So, it goes like this. Hi Agnes, it's Claudia. I wanted to share with you multiple manifesting successes that have happened to me recently. This mostly has to do with my self-love, school and a specific person. This might be a little lengthy so hang tight. At the beginning of 2019, I was starting my winter session of college and having the usual contact with my specific person. I took a fast track course that had to do with a subject that I feared the most, speech. On the first day, I was filled with so much fear and anxiety about having to do five speeches in six weeks. I was shocked at how scared I was because I initially went in pre-paving scenarios and I thought I could do it. I started to overthink about taking the class, my self-esteem and even my school in general. And during this first week, I noticed my SP stopped talking to me regularly. And because I was already feeling so low, I had a feeling he was going to stop talking to me for good. I was so scared and cried all week due to the fear of my class and my SP not talking to me. And like I was good, like I wasn't good enough. Lo and behold, I found out my SP had blocked me on all forms of contact for what it seemed to be like the millionth time. When this happened, it felt like a slap in the face. Not in an insulting way, but in a way that I knew the universe was telling me I needed to get my stuff together. After this happened, I took the time to script and reflect what led up to this and why I was so afraid of not feeling good enough for anything. Myself beliefs were at that number one I was not smart brave or good enough in school and number two I was not worthy interesting or lovable enough to be in a relationship another thing that I had realized was that I was way too much of an action figure and never gave myself time to relax or soak in the beliefs that I would affirm to myself I would always meditate or affirm statements to myself in an anxious way of trying to get I used to do about five meditations a day, affirming aggressively to myself and scripting a whole notebook within two weeks. It was too much. With this new realization, I revised all of my negative beliefs, affirmed them to myself in the morning and let it go. Feeling the quiet confidence that I was these new positive things. I would go about my day feeling absolute love for myself and even knew that my specific person was going to unblock me soon. My speech classes started to get so much better and I pushed myself to do well speaking in front of others and I always got good grades on my speeches. Oh, I ended up getting... A B in my class. Woohoo! I also received a letter from my school congratulating me that I had made the Dean's List for my 2018 fall semester. This was the same semester I sent you the study success story about. I will put that success study story down below for those of you that would like to read Claudia's story. I was so proud of myself. My specific person was still not around and the only meditation I did at this point was the whispering technique for my SP before bed and the unblocking meditation only about once a week. I was feeling so good about myself and my successes that I stopped caring whether my SP was coming back or not and I stopped doing the SP meditations and I just focused on me. I was at peace with the thought of him and sent him unconditional love suddenly two of my past exes messaged me out of nowhere and I saw my specific person's name everywhere I went. I thought to myself, is this a sign? I let it all go and I felt so relaxed and at peace. Then suddenly he unblocked me and messaged me. The most shocking part of it all was that he told me that the day before he went into my work hoping to see me. He would never have done something like that before. We talked about what had happened with us and about what had been going on since we last spoke. I wasn't anxious talking to him anymore because I knew I was lovable, powerful and capable of manifesting. The next day he invited me over to his house to hang out, something I had been manifesting for months now. I couldn't believe it. I did all of this. Right now I am just starting my spring semester with the same quiet confidence and love within myself. Woohoo! I know I can do anything that scares me. My SP... And I are back in contact and I know how to relax and take things slow instead of forcing things to happen. Oh, this is so good. 
Also, with confidence that I am worthy of being loved. The art of allowing. Yes, the art of allowing. I will put a few Abraham Hicks art of allowing YouTubes down below because she, Esther Abraham Hicks, does that the best of anyone I know. I'm so happy, Agnes. Thank you so much for all your teachings and everything you do to help me and others. You are magical. Lovely. Claudia. Brilliant. I am so pleased for you and you sent me that back in February so thank you for sending it and lots of love to you. I will put the links to anything that Claudia mentioned down below and wishing you all power to your manifesting and power to your focus and power to your daily discipline. Alright, lots of love everyone.